My mother was someone that always was willing to take on any challenge. She said yes to life. Some people are hesitant, some people are afraid. My mother was not afraid. At a very young age, at 17, after the Second World War, she decided to leave Barbados. Back then you took a boat and for the young people there's no cell phone, there's no email, <laughs> there's no calling. And after she got her education and worked in the UK for a while, she decided she'd try her luck in Canada. Because she had been an operating room nurse, she saw the future. And she said, this is where medicine's gonna go. The patient comes first. Always do what's right for the patient. And that value, I believe, has been core to our success. Were there similarities between Dean Sullivan and my mother, Gloria? Absolutely. I would say that these were two very impactful women and that people that met them remembered them. Anybody that's met Dean Sullivan knows that this rather small lady is a force of nature. She was also very approachable. She had a great sense of humor. You could feel her passion for her students and for this faculty. When I think about Pearl, one of the things I think about is her being a trailblazer, but also she was highly focused on excellence in everything we did. And she was a leader that I would say led with her whole heart. She was laser focused on making Waterloo Engineering the best engineering program, not just in the country, but the world. And I could feel that energy, I could feel that passion. There was one person that called her an iron butterfly. And I thought it was such a lovely metaphor because it kind of represented to me that it was her strength and perseverance juxtaposed around an inner beauty and whimsy. And that was the complexity of Pearl, incredibly persevering. And once she had an idea in her mind, she wouldn't let it go. Juxtaposed against that, there was a sense of whimsy. There was a sense of fun. She used to like to dance with the students. And it was that, that combination of strength against beauty and fun that I loved about her. The Gloria Fales Foundation, this foundation that was put in the name of my mother, reflects her values. And it focuses on access to education and access to healthcare. She was a nurse and she cared deeply about those two things. So this opportunity for the foundation to contribute and support the great work that's being done at the University of Waterloo, especially in their engineering department, is exactly in line with her philosophy, her ethos. For us, this gift is looking to encourage that journey, to support it and keep the University of Waterloo growing, changing, challenging the norms, and expanding. The University of Waterloo is about transformative education and visionary research, and a gift like this really helps us make that possible. Philanthropy and the philanthropists behind them challenge us to do more. They challenge us to work effectively within the university across disciplines, they challenge us to work with external partners to do meaningful work that has an impact on people in a way that can make really transformative differences in the world. I would like to thank Frank and Valerie Bayliss for this amazing and transformative gift to the University of Waterloo. And I really appreciate that they wish to honor the memory of Pearl Sullivan, a visionary leader, a transformative leader who was a trailblazer and this very space that we're sitting in is a testament to her vision and dedication. When I think about the impact of this gift on Waterloo Engineering and the University of Waterloo, it's transformational. This will allow us to create a focus, but will make us even stronger. This is Dean Sullivan. He is three months old. Uh, he was named in honor of Dean Pearl Sullivan, and her legacy continues through him as well. He's showing signs of mom's persistence, love for food, and occasionally her wonderful smile. We're hopeful that one day he'll walk through the halls of E7 and feel the same sense of passion for engineering that mom did. When I think of mom as the dean at Waterloo, I think of someone who was in their element. She worked in academics because she truly loved helping people learn, and it gave her an energy and motivation to do better for the students and for the faculty and the university every day. So one of mom's favorite times of the year was during orientation week. So new students were being welcomed to the university where she held an announcement uh, to the new class that was at the university. She started her announcement with the famous quote, uh, you worked incredibly hard to get into Waterloo and you're gonna work even harder to get out. Mom would take a handheld microphone and then actually walk around the room uh, and she'd have a few of these plush geese with her that she called her duckies. She then encouraged students to raise their hand and answer the trivia questions. 
If they answer the question correctly, they would get one of these duckies to keep. I think this is really a symbol of her wanting to have that close interaction with the students. I want to send a special thank you to the Bayless family and the Gloria Bayless Foundation on behalf of the Sullivans. Uh, we are sincerely grateful and thankful for the generosity. Mom was an incredible person that had a lasting impact on everyone that she met. We're thankful that her legacy continues through E7 and for future generations to come. Look around. We did this. This is what working together looks like. Today we are honoring the late Dean Pearl Sullivan by naming E7 the Pearl Sullivan Engineering Building.